Well, tonight it is empty sidewalks. The teachers union and the Columbus City School Board say they've reached an agreement. It took months with 23 attempts to come to a new tentative deal. The public has yet to see a copy of that agreement, but both sides say it won't be released until both sides sign. One major sticking point have been conditions inside the schools. Now, new at 10, 10 investigates found health and safety inspectors routinely flagged problems, but delayed to take action. Tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Bennett Haberly found delays and repairs, including some lingering after the teachers hit the picket lines. Here's Bennett Haberly. Along the picket lines of a teacher strike now fading into history, the chants were aimed at administrators. But work orders obtained by 10 Investigates show that's part of what maintenance crews were assigned to deal with in Columbus City Schools. This repair log from August 15th shows mouse droppings were spotted in the kitchen lunchroom area of Linden STEM Academy. The log shows that crews addressed the problem on August 18th. These photos from West Broad Elementary, taken by health inspectors back in March, show similar issues. Suspected rodent droppings in rat burrows, issues the district says have now been addressed. Here at West Broad Elementary, construction continues and repair work is ongoing just as it has been throughout the strike. But records that 10 Investigates uncovered appear to mirror some of the complaints that teachers have had about the conditions inside these schools. These photos of leaking or missing ceiling tiles and water intrusion represent a key complaint of teachers. What do we do? Send us right back. Ten investigates found some repair issues languished for months, some leading up to the days before and into the teacher strike. At Devonshire Elementary, records show it took the district seven weeks to repair lead paint that was found to be chipping. And this deteriorating brick wall that health inspectors first flagged back in March remained untouched until earlier this month, when 10 investigates found the wall was removed. There's no record of that repair in the logs, but the district says it was all part of the summer workflow. But this month, new issues surfaced. On August 5th, a CCS administrator noticed an HVAC unit in the gym at Devonshire was not operating. The repair log shows the administrator was making sure everything was looking okay due to a press conference walkthrough that was taking place at the school the next week. It's not clear what press conference was being referred to. Ten investigates did not attend any at that school. The records show the problem with the HVAC unit is supposed to be fixed by August 26th. If we don't get it, shut it down! These examples represent just a few of the many concerns teachers voiced over concerns inside the state's largest district. Administrators acknowledge there is a maintenance backlog, but say there's a plan to fix this. Here's board president Jennifer Adair. Could the, could the district do a better job of doing those with expediency? I mean, because we, as we've seen, some of those repairs often get delayed or are not made for weeks or months. Absolutely. Uh, you know, right. Uh, but there's reasons why, right? And so I think it's really important to understand why sometimes that happens. First of all, uh, through past decisions and policy and just where we are, when we uh, at some points in this district's history had to cut budgets, it's operations that got impacted, right? So we're trying to overcome that. Um, we know right now supply chain issue is a big problem, so we're unable to get parts and pieces for things that we need. Um, we know that our internal systems uh, about how tickets are put in, for example, are being worked on. Um, there's always room to improve, right? The work appears to be ongoing. Back at Devonshire, one repair appears to have lingered for five months. An inspector in March observed several classrooms that had unacred shelves. The person recommended they be secured. Repairs show the issue was supposed to be addressed by yesterday, August 24th. Well, the district has said it has a master plan to address its aging infrastructure issues and that an improvement levy will have to be part of the future and approved by voters at some point, even if it's not on this year's ballot. Yolanda.